Hey guys, today I'm going to share with you all of the fun food and places we went to eat along with a few recommendations that we did not try that I know are solid options in Daytona Beach, Florida. Stay tuned. So first up we have Hog Heaven Barbecue. This was recommended to us by someone that was also staying at the hotel we were at. So this barbecue place was okay. It was within walking distance of the Seashells Beach Club Resort on the main strip, very easily accessible to anybody near the boardwalk. They had a pretty big menu. We tried a sample plate of a little bit of everything. The flavor profiles were pretty good. Our only complaint was that minus the chicken, everything else seemed pretty dry. So if you don't mind just drowning your stuff in sauce, that's great. But um, the flavor profile of the, the meat was good. The sauces were good. Our only complaint again was that the meat was just kind of uh, dry. It was falling off the bone though, so not too bad. Next up we have Sushi King. This is in Daytona Beach on the mainland. This place offers an all-you-can-eat a la carte menu. So you pay a set price and you can order from their menu as much as you want. I believe it was $16.99 for lunch and $22, $23 for dinner, which to me is pretty darn good. The atmosphere was nice. The decor was as you would expect in a sushi restaurant. This was the sauteed veggie, veggies with white sauce. They were really good. This was crab ragoon, also very yummy. I forget the name of this, but it was a shrimp type appetizer. Very good. This was our first plate of sushi. This was one of the deep fried rolls. This was our second plate of sushi and their other deep fried roll. Everything we had was really good. Was it the best sushi ever? No, it's not going to be. It's an all you can eat experience, but for the price that you're paying and the quantity that you're getting, the fish was fresh, everything was made to order, and we had no complaints. We highly recommend this spot. All right, this next place is Duck Donuts. This was near the Tanger Outlet, so if you're over there, I recommend stopping in and getting you some hot, fresh duck donuts made to order. Next we have Joe's Crab Shack. This is the giant restaurant on the pier that everybody sees in all of the pictures. So this is a Landry's location and if you have followed me at all you know that I am a Landry's member. I have done a video. I will link it at the end of this one if you are curious about Landry's restaurants. We ordered the sampler appetizer and the shrimp seafood sampler plate and we shared all of it we also had shots of rum in honor of new year's eve celebration this place is good every time i've been to a landry's location it's solid Okay, so those were some of the places that we ate. We also ate several times in our room via grocery store food to help save some money, which I do recommend doing if you are able to. So some of the other places in the area that I also recommend that I just know are hands down good and you may or may not be aware of if you are visiting Daytona Beach one is Bubba Gump Shrimp. That is also located at the boardwalk. It's kind of in that little mall section. It is another Landry's restaurant. Again, you will know I am a Landry's girl. I like my Landry's restaurants and I highly recommend the Loyalty Club and I'll put a link um, in the description box below and add it to the end of the video if you're curious about Landry's. 
I also recommend Blaze Pizza. That is right next door to Duck Donuts. So if you're over there picking up some donuts, you can get you some pizza too. Blaze is really good. It is oven fired brick oven pizza kind of thing made to order. So if you've never been there, think Subway, but for pizza. So those two are also really good options. They had lots of places that you could grab a bite to eat. We did also get some of the fresh made saltwater taffy there on Main Street. I highly recommend it. They had so many flavors that we had never had before. We got more than we needed. It's fine, it's fine. I'll be eating taffy for a while, but shh, don't tell on me. So yeah, uh, if you know of a great place to eat at Daytona Beach, Drop a comment down below, let us know. Uh, I might get back out that way, you never know, things happen. Uh, if you have any questions about any of the places that I've recommended, feel free to ask. I'm here to help and answer any questions that I can. Please remember to like and subscribe. And until the next time guys, shake a tail feather.